you set this horse up pretty nicely for this turn and this is a pretty nice turn. I like the smooth curve in the action of that horse right there. Now here is the first place where uh, something isn't right. Uh, you, you're really coming across the, the, the line, the pole line. That's the line that goes through the middle of all the poles. You're crossing that within, say, three feet of that turning pole, or that bending pole there. And you re really want to aim for the midpoint. The other thing uh, I'm looking for all the time in my runs or in anybody else's runs is the position of the horse's body and the position of the horse's head. So right here now I'm looking at this horse being almost 90 degrees to that pole line and I'm looking at what's going to be happening to the horse's head. You want to try to keep the horse's head in front of the horse's body, all the body parts, head, neck, shoulders, ribs, hindquarters, all lined up on an ideal track, the track that you want the horse to follow. What's going on here is you're just using your hands way too much. Now look at the sh look at your shape here. You've got uh, the right rein pulled violently to the right, and you've got your horse's head pulled off to the right, which is encouraging the horse to lead with its left shoulder. Look how far your right hand is out away from your body. And sure enough, watch the angle of the horse's approach. See the shape of the horse? He's in a C shape, but he's in a C shape in the opposite direction of, of the direction you're intending to turn. See, I think what's going on here is that you are anticipating that the horse is going to take that dive like that, and you're trying to hold the horse out, but you're using your outside aids to do that with instead of the inside aids and it's having just exactly the opposite effect and it's exacerbating the problem for you.